Hello YouTube. This is a video I've had trouble um, making because I'm not sure how to say it. And but I'm just going to say it. <clears throat> I've made a, quite a few videos about Barack Obama and um, about what his name means and things like that. And I'm convinced after all my study that Barack Obama is the last days Antichrist. And what I want to talk about is Jupiter and Zeus and the Greek and Roman gods and what that has to do with Barack Obama and the United States and stuff. People in America tend to think that these gods of the Romans and the Greeks never existed but I believe they were demonic beings one way or another either they inspired the belief in these false gods or they came to earth and pretended to be these false gods and if you read Genesis chapter 6 you can see where that's possible okay in Genesis chapter 6 it says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were beautiful and they came to the earth and they married the one whoever they wanted to marry and they had um, offspring these fallen angels had offspring with human women and they produced the Nephilim and that's where um, Goliath came from when David killed Goliath also the Old Testament talks about other giants that the is that the Jews had to fight in order to take over the promised land well, you have Zeus and Jupiter. Zeus is Roman. I mean, let me back up. Zeus is Greek, the Greek god. Jupiter is Roman. I want to show you his symbol. This is the symbol of Jupiter. Okay. Zeus is the same as Jupiter. Now, notice what two numbers do you see in this? Aramaic numbers. 2 and 4. That's 2 and 4. 2 plus 4 add up to 6. The number of the beast is 666. Six, six. Now, <clears throat> if you look at the mark of the beast in Revelation chapter 13, it tells you the number of a man, and the number of man there is anthropos, where you get the word anthropology. It can mean all men, um, but 666, six, six, I believe, connects to Genesis chapter 3 where the serpent said you shall be as gods knowing good and evil 666 number 6 is number of man because he's created on the sixth day number 3 is the number of the trinity it's man making himself God but <clears throat> this also is significant because 666 if you look up at look um of Jupiter he um, had a triad, just like a trinity, okay? At one time during the Roman Empire, in order to go worship the gods of Rome, you had to go to Capitoline Hill. And I've talked about this in other videos. And on Capitoline Hill, Jupiter was the king of the gods. And he, he ruled early during this period with a triad between him and Mars and Quirinius. Okay, Quirinius was an actual man, an aristocrat that ruled Syria. And the Romans believed that was like a trinity. Okay, then later on in the Roman Empire, you had the Capitoline Hill triad. He was the central guardian. Jupiter was central guardian of the state. Now notice that he was guardian of the Roman state with Juno and Minerva. Now, the United States, if you look in, buy a good dictionary with all the origins of the words, the Greek, the Latin, all that stuff. This is a good one. It's an old one from 1978 that gets you a good one. If you look up the word capital, C-A-P-I-T-O-L. 
capital means temple of Jupiter, which is also the temple of Zeus. The United States capital is on Capitol Hill, it matches up the Capitol Line Hill. Out on the front of the United States Capitol is a statue of Mars. Remember the triad. On top of the Capitol is a statue of Minerva. Okay, so that's two false gods of the triad of Jupiter. All right, you have the United States president presiding over this Capitol of Jupiter. If you look up um, Oracles of Delphi, Oracles of Delphi was an actual place. It was a, a rock, and there was this priestess that was at this rock, and Alexander the Great used to go there and get advice from this priestess, and she had um, got demonic messages, and she gave Alexander the Great advice, and he ended up taking over the world. Well, at this Oracles of Delphi, there's more to it. They believe there was a python spirit that protected this um, Oracles of Delphi. Well, Zeus, um, let's see, Apollo, I believe, killed this python. And then Zeus ended up being the, preside, he presided over this Oracles of Delphi. And Apollo, I think, was the father of Zeus. Uh, it's early. I just, you know, it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to remember all this. Apollo was the father of Zeus. Apollo killed the python. And Zeus ended up presiding over the oracles of Delphi, where you get wisdom and knowledge and things like this. So the United States of America, what have you got? <clears throat> you have the capital where you have oracles, laws made, and you have debates, which is oratory. You have the United States president presiding over it, just like Zeus presided over the oracles of Delphi. You have Jupiter had a triad of rulership, once with um, Mars. You got the statue out in front of the capital of Mars. And then you have Quirinius, which was a ruler of Syria, which made a, a triad. Then later on, he was the central guardian of the state, just like the President of the United States is supposed to be the highest um, law enforcer, the most important law enforcer. And um, a Capitoline Hill, Jupiter, was central guardian of the state with Juno and Minerva. Then you have the statue of Minerva on top of the Capitol building in the United States. You also have a triad in the United States with three branches of government. The executive, the legislat legislature, and then the Supreme Court judicial, which copies the triad of the guardian of the state. All right, now, there's more to this. Um, if you, hold on, let me make sure I don't forget anything here. All right, yeah, Barack Obama's name. Barack means cast forth his light, and it also means glittering and glittering sword. Barack means that, cast forth his lightning or glittering sword or glitter. Bama means a high place and ultimately it ends up being the high place of Baal if you look in your strongest strongs concordance. Luke chapter 10 verse 18 you have um, Jesus he said he beheld Satan fall from heaven as lightning and Barack Obama's name means cast forth as lightning. Okay from the high place of Baal. All right now if you look up Jupiter, which is same as Zeus, they, they said he was the king of the gods. He's god of the sky, the god of thunder. Yeah, Barack, Obama, Barack, Barack means cast forth his lightning. You have Jupiter, the king of the gods, and the god of thunder. It's not coincidence. When Obama 
received the nomination by the Democrats to run for president against McCain. He made a replica of the altar of Zeus in Berlin. He gave a Berlin speech in 2008, which was a one world government speech in Berlin. And in Berlin, there is a museum with the altar of Pergamum, which is the altar of Zeus. And this is what it looks like. This is from a government page, okay? That right there is the actual altar of Zeus. In the 1880s, the Germans went to Turkey and purchased it, brought it back, restored it. And they have it in a museum. And you can look this up on YouTube, the Museum of Pergamum. And you can also go to YouTube and look up the altar of Pergamum, and this is what will come up, a video of it. All right, this is what it looked like. Now, Obama came back to the United States a couple weeks after going to Berlin, and he made an altar replica of the altar of Zeus, and he walked out of it to accept the nomination to run for the Democrats. And this is what it looked like. You can look this up on YouTube. Just look up. Barack Obama's acceptance speech. There you go. My computer messed up there. Hopefully it kept going. But anyway, um, just Google the um, alter. I mean, I'm all messed up. My computer messed up. Picture stopped moving. Barack Obama acceptance speech. And that's a replica of the altar of Zeus. Now, you keep looking up um, Jupiter, which is the same as Zeus. It says his identifying element is thunderbolt. Barak means cast forth as lightning. And his identifying element is the thunderbolt. His primary sacred animal is the eagle with thunderbolts and its claws. Okay. Now, I talked about this before the sun god of Ra. In Genesis 3, the serpent said to Eve, your, um, If you eat of the fruit, your eyes shall be open, you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And the word evil there in the Hebrew is Ra, the name of the Egyptian sun god. All right, and there's a lot to that also. Well, this is the symbol of the United States and the symbol of the sun god Ra on the top. Okay, now... The sacred animal of Jupiter is the eagle with thunderbolts in its claws. Now look, in the United States seal, it's holding arrows and leaves in its claws. Sun god Ra, you can't see this picture real good, but he's holding onks in his claws. The circle above his head is symbol of the sun god. Circle, circle above his head, the sun god. On the, see? Just the same. It's also, this is a symbol of Jupiter. We have the United States president that runs Mystery Babylon the Great, which is the United States of America. He uh, matches up with Jupiter and the triad. He matches up with Zeus. He matches up with Ra, the sun god. He matches up with the um, god of lightning and thunder. God of Thunder. It matches up with everything. And if you watch my other videos about Barack Obama, you'll see that there are a lot of scripture that backs up that Barack Obama will end up being the last days Antichrist. And there's, that's different than what most people think it is because Obama will work with the Pope to bring about the mark of the beast and all that stuff. And He's working on it. God bless you.